Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Well, I jumped back on here because I wanted to tell you that the Spiritual Warfare Prayer Book is finally ready. However, I want to tell you guys, I don't think y'all understand something, so let me go ahead. Outside, I was going through things. Let's just be real because it took a long time. As a matter of fact, the other ones are coming, I promise you. And what I'm going to do is, because this one took so long to get out, just to be honest with you, uh, the next one, I'm going to follow up a next one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give everybody that purchased the first Spiritual Warfare book, I'm going to give you the second one free. The second one will be probably more powerful than the first, just to be real with you, because my anointing is different. But um, also, what did I want to tell you guys? That's it. The warfare. <laughs> I'm not just making up things. The reason why this, one of the reasons this book took so long, too, I had three editors. You know, they all just quit in the middle. I say W you lie. So if there is some things, just just go to. I say, Lord, have mercy. I understand the warfare because when you are anointed vessel, the enemy will constantly try to stop you, hinder you, block whatever the case may be. But I just push through. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I pray that you see the perseverance that that's what you're supposed to do as well. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because the enemy is going to try you. I promise you, especially during these times. Because the, the enemy knows he has a short time. Come on, somebody. Everybody can look around. We, you know we're in the last days. Play if you want to. You know we're in the last days. Hallelujah. Stop playing. So this is his time. I'm going to say it again. This is his time. God has granted him permission to test us, to, to sift us. To see if we, who we say we are. To see if we're going to take the dangling carrot or not. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. I'm on one today. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm on one. Been on one all morning. Fasting. You know what fasting do. Fasting lets, allows the spirit to use you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Flesh is flesh. Spirit is spirit. He said, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So, I just want you all to be encouraged despite of what you're going through. Watch what you say in this hour. Watch what you do in this hour. Repent. Stay repenting. Get in your word. Get close to God. I'm telling you, out in that world, there's nothing but death. And the world has come into the church. You can say what you want. Let's just stop playing this game. You got more witches and warlocks over churches than a little bit these days. Point blank in the story. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's real. It's real. Who runs this world? Who runs this world for real? Y'all better get your head right. Who runs this world? The enemy runs this world. The Bible says that we are in the world, but not of the world. That's why he said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We need to go back to Bible. People know their Bible. The world has tainted the church so bad until people don't like sound doctrine. Oh, come on, somebody. But I'm going to bring it to you every time. I'm not negating from anything. I don't care what nobody say. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So. I pray that you continue to just be blessed. Be blessed. I, I, I speak blessings over you. I speak healings over you. I speak prosperity over you. And I'm going to tell you what I see because I know y'all say, oh my gosh, she always comes with a doom and gloom. But I got some good news. I got some good news. You know what God told me? And he showed me and another prophet actually confirmed it. One of my mentors. God getting ready to bless his people. But the secret is you going to have to be in obedience. The secret is this going to have to be real. You ain't going to, oh, come on somebody, I'm about to preach this thing. You see that little hidden sin? I'm going to say it again. Those hidden sins that people do, you're not going to get blessed if you keep doing them. Because we may not see them unless God shows. Let's be real. But God say, I see everything. I neither sleep or slumber, says the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God said up in here. Because a lot of y'all do some hidden sins. And so when a prophet come, a real prophet, we see you. That's why you don't like us. Because we see you. You see, a sinner, a true sinner, let me just put it this way. A true sinner, they ain't going to hide. Yeah, I do this, I do that. But a Christian sinner, I'm telling y'all the difference. They like to hide and lie. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. You didn't hear what I just said. But God, this, I'm, I don't know why God got me keep saying this. Judgment is in the house of God. Say it again. Judgment is in the house of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I love you with the love of Christ. And I just pray over you. I pray right now. And I, and I, I come against every demonic entity that tries to take your life, 
that tries to stop blessings, that try to hinder your mind. I bind every mind-binding demon. I'm going to say it. I don't care because everybody don't want to say it. It is not mental illness. I'm going to say it three times. It is not mental illness. I'm going to say it again. It is not mental illness. It is called the spirit of mind-binding. And it must be cast out, said God. You can't medicate that. You can't educate that. Hallelujah. You can't perpetrate that. Don't y'all see what didn't happen? The enemy didn't sound the intelligence field, the medical field, the, the doctors, which is pharmacia. You heard me. Witchcraft. You mean to tell me, God, whether you take medicine, then pray and ask him to heal you. Somebody lying. Y'all better quit lying up in here. Up in here. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. And they don't like that kind of talk. Because the people say, who the people? Who's the people? Who's the people? Hallelujah. It's time for y'all to stop playing this game, said God. You going to believe God? Whose report will you believe? Got all y'all in fear looking crazy. at people, if they don't have a mess. I wish I had a mess near me. I don't wear my mess all the time. Sure don't. Sure don't. Mm. People be looking at me like. Uh, uh, sometimes I want to do <laughs> I'm just being real. Because cause it, it's not funny, but it is. You call yourself a Christian. Now, hold on. I use wisdom and discernment. If, I, if I'm going into a real mega place, then I may put it on. Let me tell you how I roll. Because I don't like to lie. I don't like to play games. When God say put it on, I put it on. If he don't say put it on, I'm not putting it on. Because truth be told, what they're not telling y'all was really in them vaccines. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm hitting it. I'm not even playing today. I'm not playing today. I'm coming. Let me tell you something. Point blank in the story. Remember the flu shot? The flu is in the flu shot. So what you think is in that doggone COVID vaccine? Y'all been asking me? Then here it is. Here it is. How is it that people died that, take, that took all shots? Come on. Come on. Come with me. Come with me. Y'all don't see what's happening, huh? And there's a little bit more up in that vaccine. You can say what you want to say. Oh, they're not going to like this, God. Something about that 5G. Let me tell y'all something. I see it. I see it. I see it. Whatever they're trying to put in the people of God, or better yet, in people, period. 5G got something to do with it? And I'm telling you, look at the movie Divergent and look at The Cell, the movie called The Cell. I know these are old movies because one thing about it, they like to show y'all before they do it. <laughs> they ain't ready for me, God. I'm just being real. I would never lie. Not like that. Mm-mm. And so, I just want y'all to understand what's really happening here. This is New World Order coming. This is martial law coming. So, what they got to do is, they got to incapacitate y'all. So, that's, what, that's why they, the, the hit with the COVID. I'm not saying COVID is not real. I'm saying it's man-made. It's something designed to destroy us. Killed a million and some people. Are you serious? That was a hit. That was a sacrifice. Let me call it what it really is. I got time to play with no demons. That was a sacrifice to the demon gods. That was the first hit of the elite. Saying, we coming. And we're not stopping. And so, they've been building momentum. Building momentum. Why y'all think all these hits? I don't know why God got me going here, but I'm going with the flow today. Why y'all think all these people getting killed? It is not us killing us. These are people that are doing their job. Y'all ain't ready for me up in here. I'm the, word, I'm the one that started the word hit. Yes, I did. Several years ago. Because that's what God showed me. But they, they got us thinking it's us killing us. Those are hits. That's why nobody saw nothing. And these are targets. They're not, they're not just, oh, it just happened. These are targets. So then they got everybody looking at everybody like, we doing it. No, we're not doing it. But that's the thing. That's the oldest trick in the book. We're going to do it and make them think they do it and let them kill each other. Y'all ain't ready for me. I'll let them hate each other. So... Let me tell you why they're doing these hits. Started with Trayvon Martin a long time ago. They need that gun law to drop. Once that gun law drop, bam, martial law coming. See, we go, they need to disarm us. Lord, they ain't ready for me today. Once the people do that, martial law coming. New world order. So whatever it takes, because this is how they think. We're all expendable. They're going to kill how much they need to kill to make that gun law drop. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's about to happen. See, I don't think y'all know how close we are. I think y'all think y'all got time. You don't have time, said the Lord. You better get it right today, said the Lord. Hallelujah. 
And, and some of y'all think, y'all don't understand why people die. God say, have it ever occurred to you that I am taking them because they're not going to be able to understand and to stand of evil that's coming? Y'all think people just dying to die. God has a plan. He's a master at it. Hallelujah. And the devil has one too, said the Lord. Hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. I'm telling you, it's coming soon. I don't get up on him and play with the people of God. I'm too scared of God. Hallelujah. 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 So y'all better be ready. Don't, no, no. Don't get ready. Be ready. Repent. Stop playing games. Stop fornicating. Stop stealing. Stop trying to buy stuff. Try, just stop, God says. You see, the world is dangling that carrot. And so you're trying to get this and you're trying to get that and you're trying to be that and you're trying to do that. And you, you know what I'm saying. Everything to take your eyes off of Jesus, the prize. Because the Bible says, and let's make it clear. Except you be as little children, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Unless you be holy, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Some of y'all really think this. And I, I feel the spirit of God. Well, before I die, I'm just going to repent. Oh, really? So you're going to live like hell and repent try to go to heaven. <laughs> okay, good luck on that one. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I know it's hard, but it's fair. It is real. That's not how God works. You better read your word. You cannot live like hell up to the day that you die. And then all of a sudden that day God will repent. You can repent. But there's still consequences for the way that we live on earth. Judgment means you are being judged now. When we get to judgment, you won't get a chance to say anything. This is your judgment now, said Lord. Speak now. Live now. Choose this day who you're going to serve. God or mammon. But choose. So you don't get to just five minutes before you die, God, I want to go to heaven. That's a lie. Y'all better quit playing with God. And, 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 and think about what I'm saying. You live like hell your whole life, right? And then five minutes before you die, well, I'm just going to repent. Repentance is good. Don't get it twisted. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking Bible here. You really think that everything you did is going to be just tossed away out of the sight of God? We need to start thinking how we live today. And what we're doing now, said the God. He said, repent and turn from your wicked ways. And everything that I preach to you, it is for me as well. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. And that's why God is allowing all this to come up on us. I'm telling you what God said. God said, they were big for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why he's allowing all this. And he's exposing some people too. Some people, they don't want to look God. You just want the benefits of God. You heard what I said. You was in God now. Oh, I'm about to go here. I'm about to go here. People have benefited off of God. Laughing, mocking, and I don't know why I'm going here. You people that's comedians and y'all joke about the Bible and and and, and I got I to gotta say how God want me to say hallelujah and all that. God says stop playing with his word and stop playing with his Bible. Hallelujah! I'm telling y'all feel the power of God. Y'all playing too much just for a dollar. You don't understand what you're doing. Hallelujah! Just, 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 just to try to get famous. God is not a God to be mocked. You heard me. And y'all laughing at it. He, he, he. I was too at first. I ain't gonna lie. Until he said, what you doing? That's not funny. That's a mockery. But we think it's entertainment. Who I know I'm hitting you today. So, I'm just saying what does say the Lord. I'm just out here saying what does say the Lord. Hallelujah. So let me get up off of here. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.